Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn the construction of quadrilaterals. Okay. In the previous exercises, we have learned all the basic things to draw the perpendicular bisector, to draw the angle bisector. Also, we have learned to draw the parallel lines as well. Okay. So, using all that basic concepts in this exercise 18th D. So, question number. Let us start with the exercise 18th D. In this exercise, we are going to learn to construct the quadrilateral of given combinations. So, there are the various types of combinations given to us, like when four sides and one angle are given, when three consecutive sides and two included angles are given, when four sides and one diagonal are given. When three sides and two diagonals are given, when two adjacent sides and three angles are given. So, like this, there are various combinations, informations are given to us. According to that, we are going to construct the various types of quadrilateral. Also, there is a construction of squares, rectangle, parallelogram. So, already we have learned the properties of quadrilateral in the previous chapters. Also, we have to apply the properties of that quadrilateral in this chapter as well. Okay. So, it is very important thing to draw the rough diagram for the given question. Okay. So, let us begin with the exercise 18 to D. For every question, we will draw the rough diagram. Rough diagram is compulsory. So, in this, we are going to construct the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. The first question we are solving here, length of the AB is 4.3 cm, BC is 5.4 cm, CD is 5 cm, DA is 4.8 cm. And also the angle ABC is given to us, which is of 75 degree. Okay. The 75 degree angle is given to us. Now, let us construct this quadrilateral. First, we will draw the rough diagram for it. See. The angle ABC is given, that means angle B is given to us, correct? So, we will try to keep the base which includes the angle B. So, let us construct the rough diagram for it. This is our rough diagram. Uh, basically, the angle B is given to us. So, we can take the base AB or also we can take the base BC. Okay, between this because it includes B angle, also it includes the B angle. Out of these two, we will select any one as a base. So, we are selecting this BC as the base. So, the A, B, C, D. This is the rough diagram for us. What is the length of AB? 4.3 cm. BC is 5.4 cm. CD is 5 cm, DA is 4.8 cm and angle ABC is 75 degree. This angle is given to us 75 degree. Okay. So, these are the given information for construction. Now, students. So, let us convert this rough diagram into the actual diagram. Okay. The first thing that we are going to construct is the segment BC which is of 5.4 cm. First draw the segment BC of 5.4 cm. So, suppose here it is BC, BC of 5.4 cm. Correct. Next thing that we want to do is angle B. Okay. Angle B is of 75 degree. 
So to construct the angle of 75 degree, already we have learned the basic angles in the questions or in the previous exercise. So let us draw the angle of 75 degree with the help of the compass only. Okay. Now how to draw this 75 degree angle? First, construct an arc, right? Then, this is 60 degree, this is 90 degree, sorry, 60 and 120. So, as we know that the 75 degree angle is between 90 degree and 60 degree, correct? So, with the help of the protractor, first we will draw the 90 degree angle. This is our 90 degree angle. It is a not part of our construction, so we will draw it in a dotted format. So, this is our 90 degree angle. Then, between 90 degree and 60 degree, there is a 75 degree angle. Okay. So, we will take the 90 degree and 75 degree as basic guide. This is from 90 degree and this is from 60 degree we have made the arcs. Understood? So, this is our 75 degree angle. Okay. So, if we measure with the help of arc, protector it will show 75 degree see here it is 75 degree it is showing between 70 and 80 here is 75 degree okay so this is 75 degree angle is done after that ba 4.3 so what to do here in our compass we will measure the radius of AB 4.3. Take a distance of 4.3 and cut the arc here. Okay. Name it as A. This is our A. Length of the AB is 4.3 centimeter. Then CD. CD is 5 centimeter. So, again in our compass, with the help of the scale, take the radius of 5 cm. I hope all of you know how to take the measurement in the compass. CD is 5 cm. So, this is our 5 cm distance. CD. Okay. Because C and D is 5 cm. And then, AD is 4.8. So again, in the compass, we will take a radius of 4.8 centimeter and from here, this is our point A. From here, point A, cut the arc which is of 4.8 centimeter. So like this, this is our B point. It is 5 centimeter and it is 4.8. 8 centimeter. Understood? So, this angle is of 75 degree. So, like this, our quadrilateral A, B, C, D is completed. Okay? Next, question number 1. The second part we are solving. It is of same type. We are solving the second part. In this second part, again, AB equals to 6 cm, CD is equals to 4.5 cm, BC equals to AB, which is of 5 centimeter 
and angle BCD is of 60 degree. Okay. AD is 6 centimeter, CD is 4.5 centimeter, BC equals to AD, which is of 5 centimeter, and angle BCD is of 60 degree. So before drawing the actual diagram, let us draw the rough diagram for it. Now observe this given information. Which angle is given to us? Angle C is given to us 60 degree. Correct? Now from this information, we will select such a segment which includes the angle C. So where is the angle C included? It is included in CD and also it is included in BC. Okay. So we have two options for the base. Starting with, we can start with CD or also we can start with BC. As we can see the BC is greater than CD. So we will give the preference for the greater side. So let us draw the BC as the base. This is our round diagram. BC is the base. Angle B is of 60 degree. Length of the BC is 5 cm. So here it is A, B, C, D. The sequence should be same. A, B, C, D. Don't interchange the sequence of our diagram. Okay. So BC is 5 cm. Angle C is of 60 degree. A, B. 6 cm. C, D. 4.5 cm and again AD, AD is of 5 cm, got it? This is the given information. According to this, we are going to draw our quadrilateral. So first, we will start with BC, draw the base BC 5 cm. This is our base BC, 5 cm, with the help of the scale, we will construct the BC of 5 cm. Then angle B 60 degree. So with the help of our compass, we will draw the angle B which is of 60 degree. Got it? So this is the construction for 60 degree angle. So angle B is of 60 degree. Is that clear? Then BA 6 cm. So in our compass, again we will take the radius of 6 cm and we will draw the arc of 6 cm. Okay, this is of 6 cm. BA, this is A point. BA. 6 cm. Then from C, D is of 4.5 cm. So here we will take 4.5 cm distance from the point C. From the point C, one arc we have drawn. CD is 4.5. So from point C, we have taken the radius of 4.5. Draw the R of 4.5 from the point C. AD. AD is 5 cm. So AD is 5 cm. Put the pointer on A. Cut the R of 5 cm. Okay. Now here we got the next point. Next vertex that is D. And join it. So our construction is done quadrilateral is completed. Okay. This angle is of 60 degree. Then AD is of 5 centimeter and this CD is of 4.5 centimeter. So in this way our quadrilateral is completed. Okay. Next. Third question we are solving now.
it is different type of question question number 3 the two angles are given us in the third question so third question in this ab equals to 8 cm bc equals to 5.4 cm ad equals to 6 cm angle a 60 degree and angle b is of 75 degree okay now two angles and three sides of the quadrilateral is given to us so using this information we have to draw the quadrilateral okay so to construct this quadrilateral first observe the given information now this time two angles angle a and angle b is given to us so we will select the base in which the two angles are included so if angle a and angle b is given to us obviously we will take this ab as the base because the side ab will include both of the angles is that clear to everyone so one thing is very clear that according to our angles we will select the base of our quadrilateral okay so a and b so let us take this ab as the base ab then angle a is 60 degree maybe like this angle b is 75 degree it will be like this 75 degree and then a b c d is done okay measurements a b 60 degree angle a 60 angle b is 75 degree then a d length of a d is 6 cm then b c 5.4 cm and a b is 8 cm okay so using this information let us construct the actual diagram okay this is our rough diagram now for the actual diagram first we will construct the base ab which is of 8 cm with the help of the scale construct this ab 8 cm okay now construct the base angles the first angle is angle A, it is 60 degree. So we will draw this angle A, 60 degree angle. Got it? This is our angle A, it is our 60 degree angle. Next, draw the angle B, which is of 75 degree. Angle B of 75 degree. Now this time we will make this construction from the left side. Okay. Means like this. Put the pointer on B. Draw the arc in this way. This is our 60 degree angle. This is our 120 degree angle. As we know that the 75 degree is between. 90 and 60 correct so to construct the 75 we need to construct the 90 degree angle as 90 degree angle is not a part of our construction just for the reference we are drawing this so it is dotted line of 90 degree now the 75 degrees in between 90 degree and 60 degree. Here is 75 degree. Okay. This is our 75 degree angle. From this point and this point between 60 and 90 we have taken this 75. Okay. 
Now let us join this with B coordinate. With the B vertex it is joined. This angle is of 75 degree. Understood? Now AD 6 cm. So let us take our measurement of 6 cm in your compass. Cut an arc. It is AD. AD 6 cm we have taken from point A. This is point D. AD distance is of 6 cm. Next, BC 5.4. BC is 5.4. So from the point B, take a radius of 5.4 in your compass with the help of scale and 5.4 we will cut from this point. So this is the vertex C. This is our vertex C at a distance of 5.4 cm and join it. Join the DC. Correct? Hence, our construction is done. Quadrilateral A, B, C, D is completed. Got it? Okay, students, for today, we will stop here.